it's Brittany. I hope you're doing well and if you are new to my channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn that little bell on so you don't miss a single video. So today we're actually going to be talking about something that was requested and it is the Hatchet House. Now there's a neighborhood in Oklahoma City called Cary Place. So the legend goes that a little girl named Carrie was actually murdered. To this day, when it's late at night and dark, people say that they see her ghost walking around or playing in the backyard of her old house. So the story begins in the late 1950s when little Carrie stayed after school. Now she went to Gatewood School and she stayed after school one evening because she wanted to play on the swings. Now, when she was playing on the swings alone, she spotted a man with an ax. Now, he approached her and grabbed her, but she had somehow managed to escape his grasp. Then she proceeded to run down the street screaming for help. She ran from house to house, pounding on the doors and windows, begging people to let her in and help her. Now, the residents of these homes were extremely terrified and wouldn't let this little girl in, which I think is pretty messed up because, you know, I get being scared, but it's a little girl. And she's obviously frightened. Something's obviously chasing her. And you'd think that at least somebody would want to help, but nobody did. Nobody helped her. Now, when she reached her own home, the axe murderer actually caught her. Now, on her very own front porch, little Carrie was murdered by the man with the hatchet. Now, it gets a little graphic and the killer chopped up her body and actually stuffed her remains into a big flower pot that stood at the front door of her house. Now, according to the legend, the white porch of little Carrie's house was completely covered in blood. And no matter how many times her parents scrubbed and scrubbed that porch, the stains would never wash off. Which I can't even imagine that, like, especially having a son, like having a child, I can't ever imagine anything like that happening. And that is just so terrible. So it's said that little Carrie's body parts were buried behind her house in the backyard and the neighborhood was renamed Carrie Place in her memory. Now shortly after the murder, every house on the block that ignored Carrie, like her pleads for help, ended up finding that their front porch was painted red in the morning. Now people say that little Carrie painted these porches red because this, as kind of a sort of revenge for not helping her and to kind of make them feel guilty, which they should feel guilty because that is awful. I understand like, you know, if they were scared and I understand, you know, if, especially if you have other children, but sh she was a child, like to do nothing. Now today, people who have driven by the house in the daytime say that the area has a very odd and creepy feeling and that the windows of the hatchet house has carvings in the shutters of hatchet. They also say that ever since Carrie died, the swing set or the swings on the swing set at the school has never stopped swinging. So like that can't really be marked off by like wind because if they just never stopped. Now, people have also reported hearing screams of the young girl echoing at night. 
Now, every Halloween, local children will flock to the historic district of Carrie's Place, trying to find the very famous house with the hatchet cutouts in the shutters. They'll go from door to door, trick-or-treating. But when people open their doors to give them candy, instead of saying trick-or-treat, children ask, can little Carrie come out to play? Which is like, if I, I get, I mean, it's kind of nice in a sense because they're acknowledging her and I'm sure that that makes her feel at least a little better with a, such an awful situation, but I can't even imagine. Like that is just so awful. So what do you guys think about the Hatchet House? And I wanna know if you guys have ever been to Carrie's place or have ever seen this house with the hatchet cutouts in the shutters or have ever seen little Carrie's ghost playing in her backyard. Such a sad story to me. And like I said, I can never imagine something like that happening. And my heart goes out to any parent who has lost a child. Because I feel like that is one of the worst things that could ever happen. Well, if you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about Carrie's Place and the Hatchet House. And... If you are not subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are almost at a thousand followers and I owe it all to you guys. I can't even wrap my head around that. Like, it's so crazy. But I hope that you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye.